here in Cleveland. Our setting today is just at the end of that block. It's NBA Basketball on 2K Sports. I'm glad you could join us on this exciting Friday night matchup. This is Kevin Harlan along with Greg Anthony and Brent Beard. David Aldridge will be reporting from the sidelines. Now a chance to take a look at some numbers for Andre Drummond. And a promising trend this month is the rise in his effective field goal percentage. He's showing a lot of smarts. Shot selection has been tremendous, and it's helped his numbers a ton. So the New York starting five, it's Randall and Robinson at the four and the five. Dennis Smith is out there with R.J. Barrett, and it's Green in at the three spot. And for the Cavaliers, Ashman and Love are the forwards. Dimes is out there with Garland. And it's Drummond in at the center, filling out the middle. Yeah, tonight, Greg, two teams with a lot of talent, but also a lot of inexperience on each side. And, and Kevin, you know what that means? It, it means we're going to see some spectacular plays, but a few that will have you scratching your head you <laughs> as well. Always interesting to watch these young players develop. And so off the tip, it's New York. And here's Smith. Now the pass to Robinson. And off there, he misses his first shot of the night. And here are the Cavaliers. Here's Sullivan. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. Nice effort taking the early lead. Here we go. Ah, take a nice deep breath. You score on that first possession. Gets the game started the right way. Cleveland shooting their first free throw tonight. Here's Smith. Pass to Barrett. Over to the left wing. Randall dishes to Robinson. And that one drops for him. Well, Robinson staying with the shot. I, I feel there was definite contact on the play, so not easy to get that one to go down. Down low, here's Love. Well-timed pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. Uncovered at the rim, finding cracks in the defense here early on. Just really smart basketball and exploiting whatever holes that he's seeing right now in the defensive squad. Now here's Randall. 26 points for him last game against the Pacers in Indianapolis. And don't forget about the work he did on the boards. His rebounding was a huge help in that game. And so it's Cleveland with it. Following the miss by Julius Randle. Launches it. Here's Drummond. The Knicks pull it in. That's not the type of opportunity he fails to convert very often. Smith against Love. From deep green. The rebound by Kevin Love. It's stolen by Randall. Score the basket. Nice shot after missing his first attempt. The strength and the quickness, and now the confidence coming along as Randall's able to score. And Julius Randall dropping a few pounds since he came in the league. He still brings an old school physicality to the game. He's a good rebounder and a good finisher in the paint. Still trying to develop GA using that offhand and trying to have some touch around there with the right. That'll be a critical skill moving forward that he has other ways to get at you offensively. Here's Randall after the Cavaliers pick up three. Robinson, nice work on the board. He's paying off with the basket. Robinson's got his second bucket tonight. Well, sometimes it's uh, like a patient that's struggling to breathe. You just got to keep the play alive, and Robinson able to do that there. And that one's good. Drummond. Now catching the lead pass at full speed. Terrific anticipation. And the delivery on time on target. Now, here's Barrett. He's coming off a 10-point game against the Pacers in Indianapolis. Here's Dimes. Barrett covering. Osman kicks to Garland. Now, here's Green. He's a good contributor to his team, averaging about 10.5 points a game. And now the Cavaliers. Fast break. Well, they weren't going to pass up that chance to get out and run.
following the steal. And we're approaching about three and a half minutes played in the first quarter. It's Barrett on the wing. Pass to Robinson. Back to Barrett. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Andre Drummond picks one up. There's a tremendous demand in the NBA right now for the kind of build that R.J. Barrett gives you at that guard position. So sturdy, so strong, and he has a chance to be one of the best guards in the league for many years to come. This is his first free throw of the game. And the first one drops. And Brent, some breathless comparisons for R.J. Barrett. People throwing out names like, like Grant Hill and Tracy McGrady. I mean, that's a, a ton of optimism around names like that. But oh this young player has a drive and a will. And I think he has the kind of composure to show you what he's made of. And if it reaches anywhere near those other players, Kevin, he's going to have one heck of a career. Right too early to start talking about uh, MVP for this year or midseason. You know, we've gotten to a point now where we start talking MVP at the start of the season. You know, yeah, right. people just love to talk sports at this point, especially when it comes to the most prestigious individual awards out there. Uh, I, I think you can make a case and sway some opinions with your play this time of year, but uh, I like to let it all play out before I start focusing on that. Things can change in a hurry, can't they, in a season? You feel yes, like they you can. Like you say, let it play out. Well, a great player on a great role at the charity stripe. The D has got to be careful about being too aggressive on him and sending him back for freebies. And Green slams it in. Yeah, you could see that RJ had seen him open earlier and then got in the right spot to deliver. Sullivan, the pass to Drummond, and he makes good on the layup. Drummond's got his second bucket. And those are the kind of nice inside looks they've gotten here in the first half. Barrett with the ball. Steady offensive output from him, averaging more than 16 points a game. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. You wonder if R.J. Barrett could be the best player to come out of Canada. Now, that's some high praise because I had many years battling against one Steve Nash. But R.J. Barrett has a high, high ceiling. And the second free throw, good. And Barrett's father playing for the Canadian national team as well as playing overseas. And uh, Brent, as you know, his mother, a nationally ranked sprinter. Yeah, an unbelievable uh, family DNA and lineage around a multitude of sports. And it really helps to be a generalist rather than a specialist. Couldn't ask for a better pedigree for one R.J. Barrett. To the middle. Here's Drummond. And Drummond throws it down. With a large frame and a willingness to get physical. Drummond's a relentless rebounder. Knicks trail by seven. Now Smith, taking a look at his stance, he's averaging around seven and a half points a game. That's tipped, stolen by Garland. In transition, here come the Cavaliers. And yes, it's good. Dines got five. And they've had assists now in their last three baskets. And so it's Smith with it. He'll bring it up for New York. Here's Barrett, and it's sent back by Drummond. Not letting that one fly. Drummond using his height and wingspan to deny the shooter. <laughs> Defensively, they've got to pick up the intensity. Hard to win surrendering this high a field goal percentage. And the Knicks decide to take their first time out here. And doesn't like how things are going right now. The timeout before the timeout here, maybe just to cut off the momentum and have a chit chat with the team to settle down. Dotson's checked in for the Knicks. Knicks trail by 11. Back to Barrett. And he drops in the layup off the glass. He's got five. RJ is going to improve year after year on the skill to recognize plays and to stay a step ahead of the D. Osmond and another three for Cleveland. 
And you can't help but pick their defense apart. They're completely in disarray. Smith, the pass to Robinson. Kicks to Barrett. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Andre Drummond picks one up. Well, inside Barrett fighting twice as hard, working through that contact and trying to get a shot off. And this is his third trip to the line tonight. And, of course, we'd all like to see his percentage at the line improve, but he just does not have the touch right now. He's in the 60s. Looking at who's out there now for the Cavaliers. Harry Nance has checked in for Love. And it's Sexton in for Garland. Well, you can count on R.J. Barrett to come at you night after night. He plays with a lot of determination, and at some point will lead a ball club. And that one, good. I like their focus coming in. Terrific execution so far. Well, if there were four or five boxes to check in terms of the game plan tonight, they might have checked six. I mean, they're doing everything out there. Barrett finds Smith. For the Cleveland Cavaliers, they come in off the loss to the Warriors. Their play on both ends has been superb. We, we'll see if they can maintain the momentum. Like tonight, with all the hustle plays. meant so much to this team now just sustain some of that energy and keep comfortable here's Barrett it's deflected but he gets it back unable to get that one so Cleveland will take it the other way and moving on after the tough loss they took at the hands of the Warriors poor execution in that one not sure what led to the lack of focus but Coaching staff, definitely not happy. And, and they made some comments themselves that some of the fault might have lied with them because they didn't go in with the best of game plans and they didn't make the right adjustments. So we'll see tonight if they do. Barrett, no good. He just doesn't look like himself this quarter. Something's missing. Well, he's missing, and it's starting to affect a little bit in his body language, and you just don't want to see that. Now here's Drummond. He's got six, and he gets the bucket. And the Cavaliers lead by 19. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Passes to Randall. And he can't stop the run as he misses. Cleveland's gone two or three from deep so far in this game. Here's Sexton, and Sexton slams it in. Really seizing the momentum of this game, but doing it with a methodical approach. Well, how good have they been on the inside tonight, just getting down into the painted area and just dominating, controlling that spot. New York calls timeout. The Cavaliers beat them last time when these two teams met in Cleveland. It wasn't even close in their last matchup, and their offense just wasn't ready to compete at that level. in for Andre Drummond. And taking a look here at the numbers for dimes. The past month has been surreal. First in scoring. First in assists. And he's as good as it gets from three-point land. In fact, the best percentage that we have in the league. And his scoring abilities are just so far out of sight. Number one overall right now. No one's been able to slow him down or even come close. Knicks trail by 21. 
And there's the pass to Bullock. Here's Knox, covered by Nance. New York moving the ball around for three. Bullock. Thompson with the rebound. They've been sensational on the backboard to start this game. Osman kicks to Nance. Yep, that one goes in there. And the story here, Kevin, early on is how well they've shot the basketball. Here's Dotson, who's coming off a 13-point game against the Pacers in Indianapolis. We have got to see that sensational mobile one block again. And those are plays that get you in front and keep you in front. Cavaliers on D. And here's Bullock. Nine point game is last outing. And, and trailing here in the first, you'd like to see them be a little more aggressive on the offensive glass. Here's Sexton. And Davis sends it back. It's a wonder we don't see more of that from Davis. He has the live legs and instincts to be a premier shot blocker in the league. Uh, unwilling to let up even for a moment. That's his killer instinct just fanning the flames. Yeah, he's the guy that you want to go to right now trying to put this one away. Here's Dotson. No points in the game yet for him. He kicks it to Davis. Clock at four. New York needs to get off a shot. Making the most of the screen. That's how it's done. And it's in the perfect spot, Greg. Frees him up to get all the way to the bucket. Really not enough help there. Lack of communication on the backside. Sexton for three. Hits it from three-point range. Sexton's got his third basket of the night right there. New York comes into this one following a loss to the Pacers in Indiana. To the wing right side. And he lobs it up toward the rim. Intercepted. And now the Cavaliers. Fast break. And Sexton slams it in. Uh, Sexton has a guard making that look so, so pretty. With the pass. 146 left in the first quarter of the game. Here's Dotson. A look at his stats. He averages a bit over eight points a game. Pass to Bullock. Puts up a three. He can't get that one to fall. Cavaliers go the other way with it. Here's Osman. And the call on the shot. It sends him to the line. The Cavaliers have yet to miss from the free throw line. They're three for three. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. And Cleveland making a change here. McGee's checked in. And the Knicks making a change here as well. Brozdakis is checked in. So he gets them both. Thank you, Cleveland! 124 left to play in the first quarter. Quickly defended by Sexton. Knox the pass to Bullock. Lock at six. To end the run. And it's Osman with the rebound. Is it getting cold in here? This is, this is a tough one. Crucial that he starts to work a little harder for a higher percentage shot. Changing ends quickly. He's rewarded with a high percentage look. Yeah, the defense trying to do their best to slow him down. But when he gets room like that, you got to look out. Pass to Knox. Good D by Thompson. For the New York Knicks, they come in off the loss to Indiana. Yeah, tough game on the road. The guys you're defending, obviously comfortable shooting in their own building. You've got to find a way to break their rhythm. Yeah, they couldn't do it in that one. Always a step slow in closing out the shooters and maybe even recognition of who was on the floor. Just not enough energy, and that's a tough way to win on the road. 
24 seconds left in the first quarter. Passes it to Sullivan. Thompson right side. Sexton for three. Another three for Cleveland. Yeah, they've built up this lead three points at a time. Well, a lot of importance placed on outside shooting. And tonight you can see why after that kind of quarter exploding from the perimeter. And they keep hammering away at them inside, forcing the ball into the paint. Colin Sexton, you can tell he's feeling it tonight. And guys, has been the driving force for the Cleveland Cavaliers. He totaled 14 points in the quarter. He's given them all the offense they need right now. We'll get right back to the action when we return. So far through one quarter, it's been a lopsided game. We'll see if that changes here in the second. And guys, the Cavaliers enjoying a nice lead here. Well, their effort on the defensive end has set the tone for this game. Yeah, defense has been infectious here as everybody stepping up aggressively on that end. Cleveland's gone 4-6 from outside the arc tonight. And now brought to you by Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset our lineups. And New York, looking at who they've got. Davis is out there with Knox. Then there's Reggie Bullock. And it's Braz Dacus in at the small forward position. Now here's Bullock. Two points. That one goes. Well, Knox getting these kind of baskets really going to help the entire offense to get going. McGee up top. He's guarded by Davis. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the contact. It goes on Ed Davis. Cleveland shooting their sixth and seventh free throws in the game. At the line for two. And the first one at the line is good. Both free throws, good from McGee. The Knicks shooting just 35%. They've got to get better looks. The pass to Bullock launches a three. They get the rebound. Another shot. McGee with the block, and he's able to get it back. Six to shoot. And it goes down two points. Quarter number two with just over a minute gone. And he turns it down. And those are the kind of signs where Garland is improving his overall awareness to find teammates. The Knicks have gone two of four shooting the ball here in the second. Pass to Bullock. Here's Braz Dacus. Back to Bullock. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Is on Colin Sexton. The Knicks have shot 67% from the line tonight, going for a six. This season, in general, has not been kind to them at the free throw line. Only about 71%. Free throw good. Bullock. A different look now for Cleveland. Kevin Love comes in for Thompson. And it's a Coro in for Dimes. Green, he's checked in for the Knicks. He's perfect from the line this time. Oh my gosh, I just got that. Second quarter, we're a little over a minute and a half in. Now, here's a Coro, guarded by Green. It's stolen by Green. Here's the break. And here we go. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. Yeah, I love the communication and the chemistry between those teammates. Cleveland's gone 4-6 from outside the arc tonight. To the paint. And the officials call him for a three-second three violation. As we get a break in the action now, let's take a look at the East and how the teams are stacking up. 
Take a look at the Cavaliers. They've been in peak form as we've watched them play some tremendous basketball with an eye toward the postseason. And of course, the New York Knicks just way behind. And right now for the Cavaliers, they had plenty of doubters before the season started, but I can't imagine there's anybody out there that's taking them lightly anymore. Well, how could you? Uh, they're a team that's actually feared at this point, and that is legit. They go into every single game, no matter who's the opponent, and they expect to win. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. Yeah, and the coach pretty smart for zoning in on him and giving him opportunities to stay with that confident play. Now here is Davis. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touched by McGee. We're just over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. Pass to McGee. That one drops for him. McGee's got four points in the quarter. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. Well, I know they don't have mobile devices out there for texting, so they might as well talk to one another. And here's Green outside. It's good, the assist that time from Smith. Green's got his second basket of the night. Uh, that's an easy shot provided by Dennis Smith Jr. Okoro with it. He's against Green. McGee with it. Now Smith defending. Here's Okoro. The jumper from the free throw line is good. Okoro's got his first two points of the night. And the jump shot has been a dimension of this game where they've had a clear advantage. Here's Barrett. Trying to get open is Robinson. Out to Smith. From beyond the arc. And the Knicks hit again from deep. Encouraging to see Dennis Smith Jr. with that kind of range and that kind of confidence. Well, the Knicks fans looking for any ray of hope. And it doesn't have to come at the hands of high-level draft choices. Mitchell Robinson is one of those young players right now for them who's showing a ton of promise. Here's Smith following the basket by Kevin Love. Now here is Smith. He has five. Passes it to Green. Six on the shot clock. Shoots over a Coro. Green, no luck. And Robinson, a second round pick for the Knicks. Brent, he has been a steal. I agree with you. He started playing basketball in eighth grade, so you wonder how much more unlimited and untapped potential does Mitchell Robinson have at this position. Here's Barrett. Isaac Okoro picking up that last basket. Outside, Green. And again, New York with the triple. Yeah, they're relying on their three-point shooting and getting pretty good results. Inside, here's Love. A good finish at the rack off the slick feet. Love's got eight points. They are just killing them on the interior. Smith with it. Outside, Robinson. The pass to Green. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Ten points for him. That was big because they dug a big hole in the first quarter, but starting to show signs of life. To the inside, McGee. And it's McGee with the jam. There are only a few players in the league who can hit a teammate like that in stride. Beautiful assist. And so it's Smith with it. He'll bring it up for the Knicks. Pass to Barrett. Back to Smith. Now Green. He's got 10. Bobbed up there for Green. Stolen by Okoro. And he overdid it there. Too much force it looked like on the foul, and he's called for the flagrant. And, and Kevin, I got to tell you, he's probably fortunate to just get a flagrant one there. I mean, so much contact. The officials easily could have gone even harder on it. Greg, I agree. He better be on his best behavior from now on. One more flagrant of any variety, and he's out of here. Thank you. 
He misses the free throw. He hits the second from the line. Well, at the time, Robinson's journey to the draft was such a big story, but now the story is getting bigger as he continues to improve his game and dominate the inside of NBA play. Drummond's checked in for the Cavaliers. Nance comes in for Kevin Love. Julius Randle's checked in for New York. Damian Dodson comes in for Gerald Green. Count it good. Some agility shown there by Julius Randle with that frame, able to find a way to score. Sexton the pass to McGee. Got a piece of it. Stolen by Robinson. And here's Barrett. He's got six. And Robinson gets it to go on the assist by Barrett. Robinson's got his third bucket of the night. Wow, what a pass there. He made that a very easy basket with that setup. Sexton the pass to Drummond. Cleveland moving the ball. Oh, oh that was huge! Incredible. <laughs> and look at Drummond. Capable of rising up and dropping an absolute hammer. New York's gone three of four with the long range bombs here in the second quarter. Smith inside. Shoots over Garland. Shooting foul. As the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. Andre Drummond picks one up. First trip to the line for him here. Not the best statistic for him in terms of his performance at the line. Very low numbers. Dennis Smith Jr. declaring for the draft after an unreal freshman campaign at NC State being named the ACC Freshman of the Year, something no Wolfpack player had done in over 40 seasons. Teddy Osman, he's checked in for JaVale McGee. Now here's Drummond. He had an 18-point outing in the last game against Golden State. And he also positioned himself perfectly to grab all those rebounds. Guys, can't forget about the fundamentals. Aggressive defense. The battle with Drummond inside is a collision waiting to happen. Here's Smith. The Cavaliers making the shot. Handle with the ball. Garland picks him up. In the corner, Barrett with it. Off target with his three. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. Here's Osman. Good for the fifth time in five shots. He remains perfect. Now Nance is just such a cerebral player out there. Does a good job of trying to be a threat with the assist. Randall surveying the D. And it's sent back by Drummond. And Garland with a clear path to the basket. Well, the defense slow to react to Garland's play on that possession there. Instinctive to do whatever it takes to get to the foul line. The Cavaliers have made the most out of their opportunities at the line. They have yet to miss in seven attempts. And they've had really good numbers all season from the free throw line. And they have yet to miss a shot from the line here this quarter. Dimes is checked in for the Cavaliers. And New York with a change here, too. Knox is checked in. Now, Darius Garland, another one of those players who is in the second generation of NBA appearances. His father played seven seasons in the league and has got to be very proud of all of his effort. Randall with the bucket. Six points for Julius Randall. You know, he's had better starts, obviously, but he's shaking it off here in the second. Osman kicks to Nance. Moves back up. Robinson with the block. Now uh, the seven foot four wingspan of Robinson going to work on that shot swatted away. He's got a lot to do with the position that they're in a very smart offensive performance tonight from him. Knox in the pass to Knox. And that one's good. His second basket of four, shooting 50%. Yeah, they've raised their shooting percentage in this quarter, and they're starting to get on track. Randall brings the double team. Stolen by Robinson. And here's the fast break. Randall leading it all the way. Knox misses. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. To the middle. Here's Osman. Howard down after the assist. Let him into the lane. And that kind of defense ain't going to get it done. Gee, we don't see those kinds of dunks out of him all the time, but we know he's got it in him. 
Well, any guy can throw it down against air defending him. Plenty of room, so not so amazing. What does amaze me, though, is that no one came over to contest the play. You know, if you're only looking at the way he's played offensively, you think his team would have the lead. Here's Garland. He's coming off a 10-point game against Golden State. Man, it's no good. Here's Dotson. Kicks to Barrett. Pass to Knox. Shot clock at five. Here's Robinson, and it's sent back by Drummond. Out of bounds, Cleveland will take possession. Tristan Thompson, he's checked in for Cleveland. Cleveland's gotten both of their three-point attempts to go down here in the second quarter. Sullivan, the pass to Thompson. He's off on that one. Now the Knicks take it the other way. There's a minute 34 left in the first half of the game. The shot's good. Randall's got eight. Yeah, Randall does a good job. His frame alone helps to create some space just with a little pivot there, able to find a way to score. A three-pointer, no good. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. And Thompson sends it back. And it's out of bounds to New York. They'll retain possession. Reggie Bullock, he's checked in for Damian Dotson. One eleven left now here on the second, and it's Bullock missing. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus-10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. Barry's the long-range jumper. 19 points for Dines. Yeah, he couldn't connect on anything from outside in the first quarter, but now he's hit two threes in the second quarter, and he looks much better. Now here's Randall. He's got eight. The shot, no good. Good D by Thompson. 40 seconds left in the first half. Davis with the double team. It's stolen by Davis. And now the Knicks on the break. For the finish. A big dunk at the end of the break. Excellent on both ends of that play. Yeah, the steal was sharp, but the slam topped it off. And we say it time and time again, so I'll repeat it. Have to be careful with the ball, or this is what happens. And the basket is good. Got it to go through on the contact. So a free throw coming up. A great opportunity for a three-point play. The Cavaliers have been exceptional shooting free throws tonight, going nine for nine. And the Cavaliers making a change here. Windler's checked in. Well, we know that Larry Nance Jr. is an athlete. Now it's crucial for him to show that consistently he can knock down a shot, maybe even extending to the three-point line. Poked away. It's stolen by Nance. Two on one as they jump out on the break. Here's Sullivan. Hits the three from the wing. Dimes got 22 points. And this is why coaches talk about playing with pace. The scoreboard tells it all. Kind of get a team defensively on their heels. And if you can keep pushing and keep attacking, they'd never find some kind of defensive balance to help slow you down. And so it's Cleveland with a huge 37-point lead to end the quarter. And with as many three-pointers as they drain, it's easy to see why they're on the cusp of a blowout. Back to the action after this word. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Greetings to each and every one of you watching at this very moment. Uh, I'm Ernie Johnson. Kenny the Jet Smith is here. Shaq is here. One half is behind us. Welcome to the 2K Sports Halftime Show. It's Cleveland out on top at halftime. They are completely in control of the game, leading by a massive amount. Kenny, how'd you feel about it? What a true demonstration of dominance. They made a commitment to owning the glass, and they made good on it. Blocking out, competing hard in traffic, that's the way you should play at both ends of the court. And Shaq, what are your thoughts on New York? 
Well, with the way they struggle to defend the three-point line, it started to look like warm-up drill. They cannot be afraid to bring more defenders out high. They gotta make life tougher on those outside shooters. Thanks for joining us, folks. We're now just a few minutes away from the start of the third quarter. And with the big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. Dimes has been sensational. There's something that isn't his strength, but he's done a great job of finding the open man. Well, if we were grading playmaking today, it's an A-plus from him. Ashman and Love are the forwards. Garland is out there with Dines, and it's Drummond in at the five spot. That's the five for Cleveland right now. And yeah, that's back-to-back -back threes. The D just seems to be slacking off a little bit. Smith scanning the floor. Tried to come right back with a three of his own, but it's no good. There's Garland. Finished off the break. Garland's got six. Now yeah, Garland did a nice job. Pretty lethal off the bounce and great body control on that drive. Randall outside. It's Barrett on the wing. And it's sent back by Drummond. And now the Cavaliers. Fast break. Moving it up. And Drummond throws it down. Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. Yeah, the other team a bit concerned here. They're trailing, and the lead seems to be growing. Little over a minute gone here in the second half. Now, here's Barrett to stop the run. Misses from short range. Hate to say it, but if they're still trailing at the final buzzer, a lot of this is going to be felt by him. His shooting tonight has just been atrocious. Now here's Love. There's Garland. Offline with his three. Yeah, but they're three of four to start the second half. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Well, Randall can get up there with the best of them. It's a quick move. Here's Osman. 16 points for him. Basket good. Those defenders just look a little bit gassed. I mean, they're getting pushed around on that low block. Barrett with the ball. Rebound Andre Drummond. Team starts the second half missing four of five shots. When does the coach possibly call a timeout and reiterate what he talked about at halftime? And Barrett now top of the key. Randall outside. Lots of room. They get it again. Second chance shot. Robinson misses. And so it's Drummond with it. He'll bring it up for the Cavaliers. They've only allowed two points so far here in the second half. Beautiful transition offense there. That's execution at its best. Yeah, once you burst through a seam like that, you got to look right towards the rim. Sweet play. And so here is New York. The Cavaliers making the shot. Green deciding where to go with it. Barrett with the ball. He's picked up by Drummond. And two shots coming up at the line as he gets fouled on the shot. Barrett hanging tough on that play. He gets the shot off, and he just stuck to the play. So far tonight, he's gone four of six at the line. And he can't get the first one. Sexton, he's checked in for Garland. And he misses the second one as well, so he is 0 for 2 that time. Cleveland with the ball. Stringing it together. They've got an 11-2 run going. Here's Love, and Love throws it down. Well, if Kevin Love gets that deep and has that kind of room, he's going to make sure of it with the jam. The Knicks shooting just 39% from the field, struggling to find that net. It's Barrett on the wing. Over in the corner, Randall. The three. Cavaliers with the rebound. Drummond's got rebound number 13 for him here tonight. Sullivan drills the three-pointer. 
Dines got seven points for the quarter. There you go. That's the stroke we saw in the first half. Passes it to Barrett. Smith against Sexton. He lobs it up. Very pretty alley-oop layup. Well, you can see why R.J. was the third overall pick. I mean, he's got elite talent, and he could do a lot of things on the floor. This time it's scoring. Drummond passes to Love. It's good. Now he's shooting six for seven. And not hard to see why they are giving up points on this run. Just too many good looks from in close. Barrett kicks to Green. Love grabs the board. Love's got four rebounds now tonight. Randall brings the double team. And the dunk by Love. Boy, you have to be impressed with the offensive production. They have got it firing on all cylinders. I mean, this team is just dangerous. Right now, every shot that they're putting up feels like it's going in. Here's Green. The Cavaliers making the shot. Well, a careless foul, and he'll go to the line for three free throws. Dennis Smith Jr. just playing hard right now and using some of that force from the point guard position. He shot two free throws in the game, made one, and missed one. For the Cavaliers, JaVale McGee's checked in for Drummond, and it's Prince in for Jetty Osman. And then for New York, Braz Dacus has checked in, and Damian Dotson subbed in for Gerald Green. Cleveland's gone into the three-point range four times since halftime and buried two of them. Feeds it to Love. Here's McGee, and there's another one for the Cavaliers. And everything is dropping for them. Terrific second-half run. Well, with the confidence growing, that's one thing, but they seem to be getting more intense, and that's helping the quality of their play here. Smith the pass to Randall. Now Smith. He's got six. Down to five on the shot clock. Three-pointer on the way. And the Knicks miss again. And for the Cavaliers, their shooting has been wild. 76%. That's just unbelievable. Now that we have a second, let's take a quick peek at the rebounding numbers for the last handful of seasons for Kevin Love. It's a concerning trend for him. Uh, whether he's lost some strength or, or just isn't putting in as much effort on the glass as he used to, he's not rebounding nearly as effectively anymore. And that's something that needs to change. And the skill set of Kevin Love is valuable. Big man who can shoot the three. Uh, a great rebounder. And he's doing a lot of things well here. New York's getting blank from three-point land so far in the third. Still 0 for 3. Here's Dotson. Guarded by McGee. McGee with the block. And Sexton has it in the corner to the paint. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Shooting the first free throw is good. Tristan Thompson, he's checked in for Cleveland. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Impeccable from the line since halftime. The Knicks shooting 38% from the field. A pretty weak showing for them. Here's Dotson. He's still scoreless so far on this one. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Uh, I mean, even from over here, you could see that one pretty clearly. It's his first trip to the line. Two shots. And he makes the first. Oh my gosh, I just got that. Good on both. Oh my gosh, I just got that. Here's Dimes. He has 31. Sexton attacking. Good once again. That makes him eight for nine this game. I'm sorry, that's poor defense down low again. It's been a mismatch thus far in the paint. And he commits the intentional foul. Really no idea why you're fouling in a situation like that. You know, maybe there's some bad blood between those two. And the Cavaliers making a change here. Nance has checked in. 
Reggie Bullock, he's checked in for New York. Defense doesn't get much better than the mobile one block we just saw on replay. And they're determined to add to the lead, not with more offense, but with big time D. Quickly. And again, it's the Knicks missing. Well, even though he misses that one, the defense has got to talk about that. And that's a bad miscue. And you can't give up looks like that all game long. And this is how you want to come out of the half. Prolific and efficient. Well, the thing is, they're controlling the pace right now. And if that was the mantra for them at halftime, they've carried it out. Here's Dotson. Here's Knox. And he goes up strong with one hand and flushes it down. And Knox just flying right now. Inside, here's Nance. And the rebound goes to the Knicks. Down low. And that one is hammered home. He's now flying high and throwing it down with the one hand. Woo, one of his favorite moves right there, guys. Now here's Prince. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. From the arc, and another three for Cleveland. And perimeter scoring, I have to imagine it was a topic of discussion at halftime. Maybe trying to find a little bit more space and ball movement to get guys open at the three-point line. And so here is New York after Torrey and Prince hitting the three. Here's Knox. That's in there. Davis with the assist. Knox has got seven points here in this quarter. Well, you can tell that Kevin Knox ahead of time knew he was going to shoot that ball no matter what the defense was doing. Davis with the double team. The pass to Thompson. Here's Prince. And Davis pulls it down. Davis has got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Here's Knox. Plays it up and banks it in. Knox has got nine points here in the second half. Now he's put on a shooting display here in the second half. He really seems to be in a great groove right now. That one good for two. Well, a good shooter and has some range. Torian Prince welcoming all catch and shoot opportunities. Here's Dotson. Pass to Bullock. Shot clock at six. Count the basket. Here's Sexton. 21 points in the game. To the middle. Cleveland moving it around. And here's Prince outside. The shot misses. The Knicks go the other way with it. And a fast break now for New York. Here's Dotson. It's rebounded by Cleveland. The drive by Nance. And they pick up two. Nance has got nine. Well, you got to do better than that on Larry Nance Jr. Outstanding at keeping his balance even after getting hit. To the inside. To the paint. Quickly. Got a piece of it. Sullivan the pass to Prince. And he makes it look easy, dunking it hard with one hand. Prince doing a good job of staying in that straight line attack mode. Pass to Bullock. And he says right back at you with a big dunk of his own. Now, good passing in the paint may be even more important to an offense than great passing on the perimeter. Those are areas where you got to be careful. I love the unselfishness, and you know coaches do as well. Well, not just coach, but you can see it in the teammates, the way that they look at him, they appreciate it when he shares the ball like that. So it's the Knicks now. Tristan Thompson picking up that last bucket. Quickly, defended by Sexton. Five on the clock, and Davis gets it to go. Nice finish off the pick and roll by Davis, using his length and athleticism to full advantage. Pass to Nance. And Sexton has it in the corner. Inside. The shot's good from Nance. 11 points in the game. 
Really well done there. Just confident and composed, never in a hurry. Outside, Davis. Shoots the three. That shot, no good. So Cleveland will take it the other way. Nance, outside. There's the pass to Sullivan. He kicks to Prince. And another assist for him. And that's his 20th assist. Wow. Just doing a great job at orchestrating the offense. 26 seconds left to play in the third. Davis dishes to Bullock. Pass to Knox. Quickly defended by Sexton. Let's it go. And good as it just snugs right down through the net. Here's Dimes. And out of bounds as the Knicks gain possession. And so it's Cleveland with a huge lead at the break. Safe to say there's no catching them today. The scoring has been tremendous, and they are shooting lights out with very high accuracy. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. And how about a look now at our assist of the game? Brought to you by State Farm. Yeah, a terrific, unselfish play right here. Set up his teammate, and how about the setup this was? What an advantage if your off guard can make plays so valuable. And one quarter to go in a game that to this point has not been an evenly fought contest. On the court for the Knicks, Reggie Bullock is out there with Harper. Then there's Davis. And it's green, and it's Ross Dacus in at the four-man position. Way to attack there and then create the contact. That's his fifth personal foul. Shooting the board, Gerald Green. Taking two shots. That's good from Green. The Knicks making a switch here. Robinson's checked in. Both oh, free throws, good from Green. Oh my gosh, I just got that. The Cavalier shooting has been wild. 76%. That's just unbelievable. Here's Windler. Here's Trummond. And Cleveland again with the bucket. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. And for the Knicks, they're shooting the ball at 42%. Here's Harper, and he makes that one. And you're going to take as many of those high percentage shots as you can get. Here's Windler. He's guarded by Bullock. Here's Garland. Second shot opportunity, and foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Well, a menace in the paint. Once Jordan Bell establishes some position down there, it puts the defense in a tough spot. JaVale McGee's checked in for Andre Drummond. Barrett checked in for the Knicks. And so Bell nails both of them. Well, Bell offers up something at the big man position in terms of his activity that's very unique. Harper the pass to Green. Now Barrett. Pass to Braz Dacus. Rebounded by McGee. So it's the Cavaliers now. It's off to Oklahoma City for him after this game, so they have the Thunder to look forward to. That'll be just one game played away from home for them. What a play there. The hoop plus the harm. Back 
That's good from Okoro. And here is Harper. About a minute and a half into the fourth quarter now. Robinson kicks to Barrett. And that's good. Robinson picking up the assist. It, it took a long time for him to get that first triple. Let, let's see now, though, if he can get going. McGee, the pass to Windler. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. The Knicks have gone two of three from the field to get the fourth quarter started. We're about two minutes into the fourth quarter in this one. Outside, Robinson. Lock at six. The dish to Green. Shoots over a Coro. Green, no luck. Guys, some great passing from him. Yeah, everybody's touching it, and you're starting to see the assists pile up because the rhythm is on display offensively. And here's Green. He'll bring it up for New York. Back to Harper. Outside, Green passes it to Barrett. Can't hit that one. And Cleveland will come the other way. Here's Windler. Fourth quarter keeps moving right along. Three minutes gone so far. Cleveland moving it around. Here's a Coro. Shot clock. Three sets for the Cavaliers. McGee's shot is off. New York shooting the ball at 42%. The feed now to Barrett. Terrific assist. A nice finish. Solid play all around. Well, RJ is a natural scorer. It's very hard to shake him off that kind of focus. Here's Okoro. It's good. Okoro's got five points now this quarter. Over three and a half minutes through the final quarter now. Harper with the ball. Outside, Green. No good from outside. Cleveland's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. And there's Garland. That's good on the assist from Okoro. Okoro's got three assists tonight. New York's gone 1 of 2 from three point range here in the fourth. Now Harper. Outside, Green. And the pass to Bronze Dacus. He feeds it to Green. And a rebound goes to the Cavaliers. Pass to Garland. Here's Windler. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. It's on R.J. Barrett. At the line for your Cavaliers, Dylan Windler. At the line for two. First free throw is good. Julius Randle's checked in for the Knicks. And so he makes both from the line. For New York, they've gone three of eight here in the fourth quarter. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. This is Barrett, And the Knicks miss again. Well, his poor shooting is a big reason that they're staring at this deficit right now. He needs to get on track if they're going to find a way to win. Garland, no good. Teammates right now covering up for the type of off performance he's having. In terms of scoring, this has not been his best night. Okoro passes to McGee, and it's McGee with the jam. Okay, two hands for safety. That's that's what they say, right? Uh, that's right. He was ultra safe with that dunk, no question. New York shooting just 30% from the field here in the fourth. Now, here's Barrett. He's guarded closely, and he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. Yeah, RJ was going to score either through you or over you. That's a nice, nice finish there. Oh, 
Oh my gosh, I just got that. For Cleveland, they've gone 5 of 11 from the field in the fourth quarter. Down low, it's stolen by Randall. And here is Harper. Lays it up off the glass. Well, that's how you draw it up right there. A screen to shed the defense, a quick move to the bucket, and you get the lay-in. To the inside, Bell lays it up and in off the pretty assist. Bell's got four points now in the quarter. That's a high percentage score for Jordan Bell, who takes high percentage shots. It's Barrett on the wing. Rando kicks to Barrett. Rebound by JaVale McGee. McGee's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Bell passes to McGee, and that one drops. That's nice vision there. You see that pass, you make the feed before the defense has a chance to react, and that opens up a, a much better opportunity to score. Now here's Randall. Looking to get back on track here. Excellent D that time there from McGee. And now the Cavaliers. Fast break. Bell leading the charge. A Coro shot is off. And if that's the best look you can get on a possession, what a waste of a trip down the floor. Yeah, see the coach? He's got that frown on his face. I think we know why. Not a high percentage look. Man, he sure can get off the floor. He one of the best in the business, absolutely. New York's gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. Back to Harper. Randall outside. Kicks it to Harper. With the teardrop. It's rebounded by Cleveland. The bucket just not well protected, but still he doesn't convert too often. That's been the story with him. And you can see now they're starting to push the tempo to good effect. Here is Harper. Isaac Okoro picking up that last basket. Here it finds Randall. Will it go? McGee with the block. Bell against Harper. Garland the pass to Bell. Here's McGee. And off the front iron. And in it goes. McGee's got six points in the quarter. And ten of their last twelve coming off assist. Pass to Barrett. Now here's Green. Back to Barrett. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. I'm impressed with R.J. Barrett and his body control when he's around the basket like that. Good finish. Here's Windler. It's the three-point bomb. Defensively, you can't afford to give him that kind of look, especially down this many points. Teachable moment there. Lapses like this are backbreakers. The Knicks shooting around 40% from the floor here. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Randall dishes to Barrett. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. And here's what the Cavaliers' schedule looks like. On Sunday, they'll be facing Steven Adams and the Oklahoma City Thunder. Then on Thursday, they'll be playing against Lou Williams and the Los Angeles Clippers. And just looking ahead to what's on tap, there are a lot of winnable games for them, but you can't go into the stretch with that mentality. You've got to focus on what's in front of you and bring it every night. Prince has checked in for the Cavaliers. And then for New York, Davis has checked in for Julius Randle. And it's Knox in for Green. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Oh gosh, I just got that. Cleveland's gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. Here's Bell. And the basket is good. They're doing a really good job of getting the ball inside and attacking the paint. That's an area they have completely dominated. The 
The Knicks shooting a paltry 33% in the fourth. Not a good showing for this offense. Harper the pass to Knox. From deep three point range, and it's Isaac Okoro with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Outside Harper. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Darius Garland picks one up. Shooting for New York. Two shots. And that one falls for Harper. And Harper drops them both. And so it's Cleveland with it. Garland the pass to Okoro. Garland with it. Cleveland moving it around. Windler with the bucket. Windler's got eight points in the quarter. Having a lot of trouble stopping the three-point shot. Passes it to Knox. And they come right back with their own three-pointer. Maybe the halftime break was good for him, allowed him to step back, calm himself down, get himself in the right frame of mind, and now shots are falling. Now here's Garland. Okoro passes to Prince. Fires from 18. And too long on the shot. Well, if you believe in the numbers, that mid-range shot is not a high-value shot, even with little or no defense on you. to the left side wing. The pass to Harper. Bell against Davis. The kick out to Harper. Fires the three. Kept alive. They shoot again. Count it. Well, that's a refreshing workman's approach to the game. Davis there beats everyone on the rebound and then finishes strong. Pass to Prince. He's looking for Bell and finds him. Right wing. Here's Garland. A second chance effort. Good on the bucket. Prince has got 12 points in just the second half. When, when you're trying to claw your way back into a game, you cannot allow second chance opportunities. Yeah, those are tough. You get back into the game by working harder than the other team, not the other way around. They're just going to extend this lead. And the basket by Knox. Yes, and, and with this one winding down, it's obvious to everyone who watched it. Just a total mismatch and a true show of strength for the Cavaliers. And this was one that never really was in doubt, I thought, an all-around dominant performance. And you kind of thought that maybe even going into the game. Yeah, there was a sense of that in, in men. They, they just pretty much blew them right out of the water. A, a clinic was put on display here today. And this will make it 41 victories for them on the year. And their dominance continues, guys, as they sweep the season series four games to none. And, you know, looking back at all the contributions tonight, it was a really phenomenal all-around game for Dimes. He was tough to cover all game long. One of those nights when he felt like nobody could stop him, and they didn't. Here's Windler from 13 feet. It goes down. This arena was rocking throughout the night. You, you could really feel the energy. A huge motivation, always great for a young team, but veteran players also appreciate when fans come with that kind of energy and get into the spirit of the game. Now, here's Garland. Here's Windler. Okoro kicks to Garland. Here's Windler. Misses the shot. And so it's Cleveland taking care of business in this one. This game may not have been the most exciting we've ever seen, but you have to appreciate just what a clinical performance they put on. Uh, I know their fans appreciated it, and we saw at times just stretches of excellent defense. Potency from an offensive standpoint as well. They, they were pretty much dominant. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Brett Berry, and David Aldridge, 
This is Kevin Harlan. Thank you for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening.